Hello, guys, welcome to Coding Byte. In this video, we've curated the best Arch based distro that we absolutely adore. Arch Linux is one of the most popular Linux distributions out there, giving you full control over your system. However, sometimes configuring Arch can be a bit too cumbersome to configure and install vanilla Arch. Thus to make our lives a bit easier, we would take a look at the top Arch based distro of 2021 in this video. If you like this type of content then leaving a like, subscribing or turning notifications on so that you don't miss an upload is really appreciated. Anyway, let's get started. Manjaro Linux is the most mainstream Linux distro out there based on the Arch source code. So, as always, you are getting the cutting edge software packages in this distro. Manjaro is fully open source, and there are a lot of official and community additions consisting of different desktop environments. It is designed with Windows users in mind, and hence if you have just shifted from Windows, you will feel at home. Overall, if you are looking for a balanced distro in terms of performance and stability, this is a no-brainer. Endeavor OS is a relatively new Arch Linux based distro with a very interesting backstory. The project was created by former members of the Antigos Linux project shortly after the distro was discontinued back in 2019. The idea was to create a spiritual successor to Antigos that would be just as friendly to newcomers while also providing a similar level of control as Arch Linux. There were more than a few projects born from the ashes of Antigos but Endeavor OS ended up being by far the most successful one, and it's not difficult to see why. Endeavor OS comes with a friendly installer that allows you to set up the basic version of the distro quickly and painlessly. In its base form, the distro doesn't have a GUI and there are almost no pre-installed utilities either. This decision was made to allow users to get things started faster than it would normally have been possible. But don't worry because installing everything you need is a lot simpler than you think. The project's website has a very helpful guide that will take you through the entire process step by step. This includes teaching you how to create your own bootable media and how to use a few simple Linux terminal commands. Garuda Linux is probably one of the coolest looking Linux distro out there, and even though it comes with many desktop environments and window managers, the most popular one is the KDE Dragonized version which looks like something straight out of Cyberpunk. Garuda also comes with the Calamares installer which makes the installation process very smooth. Another fact which distinguishes Garuda from other Linux distributions is that by default, it ships with a BTRFS file system instead of the usual ext4, which allows for features like system snapshots and checksums. The Garuda Gamer GUI also facilitates gaming on Linux which is a major boon of the distro. As the name suggests, Arch Labs Linux is yet another Arch-based Linux distro available for quite some time now. This distro was built for the advanced users in mind. But that doesn't mean the newbie users can't use this. The current Linux distribution Arch Labs as ISO is with a lightweight open box window manager and promises pure Linux without a bloated desktop and superfluous decorations. Following the popular Arch Linux model, Arch Labs also has its well-known package manager Pacman and its interactive bash frontend Pakali, which implements the functions by entering numbers. For users who have already dealt with Arch Linux in more detail and are not afraid of the effort, Arch Labs can be an interesting alternative. With an appropriate tool such as Ventoy or Rufus, the live ISO can be easily written to a USB data carrier and tested without risk.
Reborn OS is another Arch Linux for beginners that in the live image uses GNOME, whereas while installation the users can choose the one from its wide range of user interfaces that are KDE, GNOME, Deepum, Budgie, Cinnamon, Mate, Openbox, i3, XFCE, Enlightenment, or LXQT. The good thing is its repo that offers some extra packages which are generally not available on popular Linux OS by default such as WPS Office, Wine, Chrome, Opera, Vivaldi, Brave, and more. Also, it offers a custom installer based on CN Chic which allows installing various favorite software while setting up the OS to save your time later. Furthermore, Rebonos offers built-in Flatpak support to install hundreds of packages with just one click, a capability to roll back the system to a previous date, and graphical system configuration and maintenance tools. The official Arch repos, community repos, and the OR are also there. Archman is an independent project that started in Turkey but eventually managed to attract worldwide attention. This is a constantly evolving operating system that tries to lower the barrier of entry for users who want to experiment with Arch Linux-based distro. Archman also manages to stand out from the crowd thanks to the fact that user feedback plays an important role in the development and management process. This is one of those, by the community, for the community, type of projects and that system yielded some great results so far. Archman was designed to be a very lightweight Linux distro and because of that, it works best when paired with the XFCE desktop environment. Having said that, there are quite a few other options to choose from, including Mate, Gnome, Deepum, LXDE, and LXQT. Regardless of which desktop environment you end up with, you'll need to rely on Pacman for installing software packages, though some applications are available right off the bat. Given that Archman was named after Arch Linux in Pacman, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the package manager is an essential part of the distro. Artix Linux offers rolling releases and uses in its system OpenRC, Runit, or S6 in it instead of system. It is available in LXQT, LXDE, Mate, Cinnamon, KDE, Plasma, and XFCE along with a basic set of applications. Artix Linux is one of the Linux which is closest to Arch Linux, not many modifications are there but still offers Calamere's graphical installer to easily set it up on any PC or laptop. Chakra is a community-driven Arch Linux-based distribution that touts itself as being the premier Plasma experience. Just as its motto indicates, Chakra Linux focuses heavily on the KDE Plasma desktop environment and everything that comes with it. You won't be able to choose between multiple desktops in this case, however, KDE is very versatile so you can still expect a fairly high level of customization. One of the reasons for that is Qt, a software platform known for providing a fantastic user experience. A neat feature that allows Chakra to stand out from the crowd is the rather unique update system. Instead of opting for either a static or a rolling release schedule, Chakra tries to combine the best of both worlds. The end result is a so-called half-rolling release model where the core system is updated periodically to ensure stability. At the same time, you can expect to be able to grab the latest version of any application whenever you want. Speaking of applications, Chakra has its own repository where you can find packages developed by the community and there's also support for the official Arch Linux repos. Chakra is a bit more complicated than other distro found on this list and is best suited for users who already have some experience with Linux. But if you're adamant about trying Chakra Linux even though you're a beginner, don't forget to check out the forums and the tutorials section on the main website. The community doesn't seem to be particularly active, at least when compared to those of similar projects, but you can still find some valuable tips and tricks there nevertheless. Arcolinex is available in three editions Arcolinex, Arcolene XD and Arcolene XB. The first one i.e. Arcolinex is a standard desktop Linux with all features and comes with XFCE desktop. 
whereas the ArchLine XD is the minimal version of the OS that comes along with scripts to give the user full control over desktop environment installation and applications, in short offers high control out of the box. Arcaline XB comes with several pre-configured desktop graphical user interfaces from which the users can select one of their choices while installing the OS such as Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepum, Gnome, Mate, KDE Plasma, and more. In total there are 20 desktop interfaces and if you want, you can install all of them. This makes users easily get the favorite dir on their Arch Linux. CyberOS Linux distribution is created by a small team of people and it's a heavily configured GNOME 40 desktop with Arch Linux at its core. When you first look at this distribution, it reminds you of Deepum the. The primary color, bottom dock, and icons all resembles the Deepum desktop environment. But it's not. The Linux distribution is purely based on Arch Linux. Hence you get the latest rolling package from Arch Repo and its desktop environment GNOME 40. The GNOME 40 desktop really looks nice when you first see it in this distribution. It comes with an in-house bottom dock called Cyber Dock, which can be moved around to different sections of the desktop via settings. The settings window gives you a fair set of options to tweak your desktop. You get fractional scaling, dark and light themes, and the option to choose an accent color. The Noto Sans default font looks great. The Cyber Dock can be customized to fit at the bottom or at the right of your desktop with a customization option in its size. Arch-based distro are gradually gaining ground among the casual Linux users and distributions like Manjaro and Reborn OS allow newbies to navigate the Arch environment in comfort. On the other hand, Endeavor OS and Arco Linux give us a closer experience to true Arch. Each distro has its own features and we highly encourage you to try out the various flavors to find your perfect fit. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel to help us reach the 1000 subs goal and feel free to use the comment box to suggest us more topics to work on. See you next time.